Okay, we left off over here, the Mechaber 296. The Mechaber said if a person forgets to say Alanisim, one does not have to repeat the Birch Samozon, one does not have to repeat Shimon Esrei. It's however, the Mechaber says on 296, but if one hadn't concluded, he said Baruch Atah, but he didn't say Shem Hashem in the Baruch which follows the Modim, then he could go back and say the Alanisim. But once he says Hashem, Baruch Atah Hashem, then we pass on the al -Nisim. He does not go back. We just, that's where we left off. To differentiate between al between Yalav Yavo, if you say Baruch Ato Hashem, and you're about to say Hamazi Shechin Asal Tzion, you say Lamdei Nechul Kecho, and you say Yalav Yavo. That's the love, let's say, Rosh Chodesh. Right? All of a sudden, you s forgot to say Yalav Yavo, and you come, you're about to say Baruch Ato Hashem, Hamazi Shechin Asal and you catch yourself right before you say Hamazi Shechin Asal Tzion. At that moment, what do you either say? And you say, Yalav Yavo, and then you continue, Baruch Ta Hashem, Marzi Shechin Asal Tzion. But yet here, if you said, Baruch Ta Hashem, and you realize you didn't say Al Anisim, you don't conclude, Lamdein Chul Kecho, and you say Al Anisim, you say, we, pay, we forget about Al Anisim, just complete the Shema Nezer. Right? That, that, so we, we differentiate, because regarding, Al regarding Yalav Yavo, factually, you have to go back. So by concluding Lamdein Chukecho, which is not a bracha, it's a posuk and tilim, you're not, gonna say, you're not saying an un unnecessary bracha. So if you're able to accomplish, but you're not saying an unnecessary bracha, so you conclude Lamdein Chukecho. But over here, if I conclude Lamdein Chukecho over here, if I say Hatoshim Cholchon Neolodos, I'm not going back. So it's not going to be an unnecessary bracha being said. So, th because factually, what is a bracha, what is a poskim and tilim has no relevance to Shimon Ezra. So, if it's a question of accomplishing that I shouldn't say an unnecessary bracha in the middle of Shimon Ezra, which also doesn't belong there, if it's a question of one or the two, say a posuk and tilim, that it shouldn't be an, an additional bracha. But over here, factually, I'm not going to have an additional bracha. Because you don't have to go back. So, you conclude, Hatoshim Cholon Tchon Nehodos, you complete Shimon Ezra without saying Alanisim. That's how we differentiated yesterday between the two of them. Okay? Hago, holding the Ramon 296. Yesh Omrim, Kshishokach, Alanisim, Birchas Amozen. There are those who say that if one forgets Alanisim, Birchas Amozen, Kshemagil, Lahorachmon, Yom Harachmon, and Yaslon, and Nisim, and Niflos, Kshem, Shosis, Lavsin, and Yom Mahim, Bazman, Azeh. Still, still not. Still not. You know, it's interesting. You know, we say uh, during a service made tshuva from Rosh we say Zachreinu l'chayim, l'chovitz b'chayim, right? What happens if one forgets to say that? We rule, you know, if you put Tosa's position, the Rishonim will say you have to repeat it. If you forget to say Micha Mocha, you say v'chayim, if you forget that, you have to repeat the Shema Nesrei. We ruled that you don't have to repeat. Why? Because since it's, th th there's no mention of that in the Gemara. It's, it's called, it was added later, it was Takonas Agonim. Something which was legislated by the Anshe Knesset Agadola, there's something else. Okay? So he says that those say, and you should include it, Arachman, Bimei Matas Yo, Farid Zbar, Simko Feizayin, Siv Dalit. Okay? Let's see the Mishnah Barah on this. Omer al Hanisim, Kosa b'svorim shebenusch al Hanisim, Yomer va'al Hanisim. Take a look in, in uh, maybe in the, even the art quotes that are in the Nusach Svard, uh, Nusach Hashkenaz. The the vav of va'al Hanisim is in parentheses. It's in parentheses because it's not simple. So that's what he's addressing here. Shebenusch al Hanisim, Yomer va'al Hanisim bevav. Heim b'tvilo, heim b'chas Hamosim. Whether you whether you're saying va'al Hanisim in Shmon Esrei or in b'chas Hamosim, you should say va'al Hanisim. Kishomda Alehem, Yesh Ledali Tevis Alehem. No, no, the Mishnah Burr, no, Mechaber doesn't say a word. Mishnah Burr says, it's written in Svarim that the correct Nusach text should be the Al Hanisim. Okay? Vahodo Achka Rome Alamchu Yisrael. So if you're saying Alamchu, what are you saying? Alehem. Elim Ken Ome of Alamchu Yisrael. Okay? Birchas Hamozon. I think Nusach Hashkanao says Al Hanisim without the Vav. Take a look in the center. 
It has the vav in parentheses. That's Ashkenaz. Optional. What page is uh, Misha Verachan? <laughs> okay. Dave's an expert in on scroll sitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It says in the parentheses. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe in the one without the um, without the English translation in the, um, the Ashkenaz regular sitter. Yeah, yeah, I know this is Svard. This is Val. See, here it's not even in parentheses. In Nusach Svard. No, but I'm saying in, the, in Nusach Svard, there's no parentheses on the Vav. See, in Ashkenaz, it's like, it's, it's, it's optional, or it's questionable. Svard, is definitely, you have the Vav. Always by Svard, there are many wor more words or uh, appellations which are added. You know, different, different words. Avo, you know, different things. So no, no, no. That was the Nusach. That was that was their Misora. You know what what the correct text was. It's a question of what what the correct text is. Definitely, not a question. Even the Hasidim agree. You have Right. Well, well. Man, man, he said it, it, it wasn't the correct Misora. The Gro. No, 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 no. Who? Who are you talking about the Chavetz Chaim? But what are you about the, like what? No, no, no. That, you've got that, that goes back to Rishonim. Where they say, Baruch Hashem L'Olamon L'Omein in Chutz Loritz. Right? Myrif. He ended Shomar Mishor Lad. Because the Tosa is discussed in Shabbos. Right? Because it was added later. Because they were out in, in the fields. That was the equivalent of Shomar Nesri. Today, the, we don't have those issues any longer. So he says, you don't say it. Which is discussion of tosis. Okay? Birchas Samozin, Birchas Oretz, Ubitfila Birchas Modim. In benching, it's in the Birchas Oretz, right after the note that we say Alanisim, and Tfila, it's in Modim. Hatam de Kulimils de Hanako, Ikro Hudoi, what is the whole? It says, it's Lahudus Lahalev. Right? That's the Mitzvah Hanako. To give thanks and to praise. Right? We don't mention that in the yeah. We say the Alamichyo or the Alor Eitz. There's no insertion for Chanukah. Right? But yet for Rosh Chodesh, for Yom Tif, there is. Right? We do. So it's interesting. Upurim. He doesn't say why. He doesn't say why. So it could be it's the same thing because it doesn't have that level of value. <laughs> in terms of, if you forget Ritzay, you have to repeat the Shemona Esri. So we deal, you have to repeat the Birchus HaMozon. So we deal, just as the insertion of Ritzay is necessary for the Birchus HaMozon, identically it's necessary for the, for the Alamichia, because it's Brochem Ein Sholosh. It's an abbreviated, it's an abbreviated Shemona Esri. I mean, uh, Birchus HaMozon. It alludes to everything. That's what's called Ein Sholosh. So therefore, just as in the Birchus HaMozon, you have to say the Ritzay, you have to say the Yalav Yavo to identify the the, the moed, <coughs> identically, you have to what you have to identify there. You have to identify here, and you must. And if you don't, it's not valid. Hanukkah Purim, although we do insert, but if you don't, it doesn't validate the birchas hamozon. Therefore, there is no mention. No, it doesn't make it's not. You don't. You don't have to repeat it. You don't. Yeah, 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 you're right, yeah, yeah, no, you still don't, you still don't. Even though there's a chi of pseudo. Doesn't take on that level of, of importance. Not sure why, not sure why. Because the Gemara makes the differentiation, as I said. No, there, there's an obligation, where there's an obligation to eat the pseudo, that's why I shall the shudas. Right? You don't. Okay, that's probably the answer. Right, you don't have to wash. See, for the, t the first and second meal on Shabbos, there's an obligation to wash. You have to eat bread. Yom Tif also, you have to eat two meals. It means bread, bread meals. And that, that's the reason why you don't repeat it. Say, Purim, it's, it's, it's boss of the ayin. Who doesn't wash? I mean, it's better to wash. Like Shal it's also better to wash. It doesn't, it's not a bread meal. 
Right. That, that's, that, that is the answer. So, Baruch Hashem, Yossi came on Wednesday. So, you can imagine him come every day. How much more we'd understand. <laughs> okay. A Marzir no so. He says, why don't you have to repeat? Lav do raisin dinu. Lukoyat fila bich samozen. He's saying something interesting. He's, he's introducing a new concept. I said because there's no obligation. See, but again, that would be good for bich samozen. On Purim or Hanukkah. Uvra Shman Esrei. Why do we differentiate between Yalav Yavo or Ritzei and, um, and Purim and Hanukkah? Right? If one forgets it, you have to repeat the Shmanesi if you forget the Alavi Avo, but you, or it's a, but you don't have to, right? I would say, but you don't hear. It says, because one of the rice means Jabonim. If it's, you're acknowledging a Torah Moed, <coughs> then you have to repeat. But since Purim and Hanukkah are rabbinical, therefore that's the reason why you don't have to repeat. To make that differentiation doesn't have that degree of importance as a Doraisa. Okay? So he says, Although there's an obligation to eat the meal, so we made the differentiation, the same thing, right? We, we said, what happens if you have Shabbos, Rosh Chodesh? Right? So you're supposed to say, let's say, Yalav Yavu. You forget to say, Yalav Yavu. You don't repeat the Birch HaSamoz on Shabbos. Right? You forget to say, you have to repeat the Birch HaSamoz. Why? Because uh, Rosh Chodesh doesn't obligate you to eat the meal. Why am I eating this meal? It's because of Shabbos, not because of Rosh Chodesh. So the same thing over here. He says, if Hanukkah would be Shabbos, although you're eating the meal, it's no worse than Rosh Chodesh. Correct? You know, if you omit uh, Yalav Yavi, you're not going to repeat the, the Birch HaSamozo. So over here, even though it's Hanukkah Shabbos, right, and the meal you're eating, you're obligated. But why am I obligated to eat the meal? Because of Shabbos or because of Hanukkah? Because of Shabbos, so therefore, if you omit the Alanis, there's no reason to repeat it. Okay? Kishamegi la Rachman, the Rama says, there's, the, there's those who say that if you omit it, when you come to the Rachman, you should insert something which is the equivalent of the Alanis. So if the person forgets it, he says, hey, the you make requests afterwards. You should make a similar insertion at the end to acknowledge that it's Hanukkah. Kodim yilu rotzom before you step out. Yom Rachman the chaim bepurim rosh chodesh bechanukah. Yom is the Rachman who yichadish mishum the todu kodim. He said, interesting, because people say in the Rachmans they say yichadish when you know you say you're acknowledging rosh uh, chodesh. Which one do you say first? Pa- Purim, Hanukkah, Alanisim, or the Rosh Chodesh? He says, it's Tod Yishen Todim. So Rosh Chodesh should be mentioned first. No, but you forgot. I understand that you said the Alev Yavu in the Shemon Esri. You skipped the Alanisim. Now you come to the Rachman. So some say you should still acknowledge it at the end of the Birch HaSamozim. So he says, since the Rosh Chodesh is still taught here, when you acknowledge it, the Rachmans, you should acknowledge Rosh Chodesh before Hanukkah. Although you didn't say the Alanisim in the, in the Shemona Esrei, in, in the Birch HaSamosim, or the Shemona Esrei. Now this is the Chiddush. Take two minutes. Gam b'musim shal Shabbish al Rosh Chodesh. The Musaf Shabbos Rosh Chodesh Tzoruch Lahaski Shal Chanukah, Alpha Bishain Musaf Chanukah. Now on Shabbos, what do we have a Musaf? Because it's Shabbos. Yom Tov, what do we have a Musaf? Because it's Yom Tov. So of course you have to mention Kadosh Yisrael Bazmanim or Kadosh Shabbos. But Musaf has no relevance to Chanukah or Purim. There's no call for Musaf. It's a rabbinic holiday. So maybe in the Musaf you should have mentioned Al Anisim. Because really, the obligation of this tefillah has no relevance to the, to, the, to the particular holiday. Nevertheless, we do mention it. Because we're saying modim, we're giving thanks to Hashem. Shabbos Hanukkah, correct? Uh, 
happens on Shabbos Purim if, if the 15th falls out on Shabbos in Yerushalayim. So they say in, in, in the Shalom Esrei on Shabbos, although they celebrate Purim, reading the Megillah is, is, no, it's Friday. Reading the Megillah is Friday, the suit is Sunday. And Al is Shabbos. Yeah, it's called Purim. That's it's based on Yerushalmi to be continued. Exactly. The what? Again? Only in Shalim. In a world, yeah. No, no, no. no. I mean, it's in, it's in, the, you mean Musaf? Well, they don't have any Shabbos Friday. No, you don't, you, you don't have, want to have Al-Nisim for Purim. For Purim, you don't. For Hanukkah, you have it. Most of you have, you have Al-Nisim. Sure, you have Al-Nisim. Right? You have Al-Nisim. But the insertion Purim, you're not going to have. 